Okay, so Maddie McCann, she disappeared from a holiday apartment in 2007. Do you know who took her? Is it right for me to think that Maddie is deceased? Yes. Thank you very much. On the 3rd of May, 2007, three-year-old Maddie McCann of Leicester, UK, disappeared from a holiday apartment in Portugal. It's believed that Maddie was abducted, although no DNA evidence or potential clues were found at the scene. Portuguese and British police have exhausted many lines of inquiry in their quest to solve this case. But after 15 years, and more than 12 million pounds of funding, they have found no definitive answer in regard to the whereabouts of Maddie. A new development in recent times has led German police to name a German national by the name of Christian Bruckner as a suspect in this case, although we do not know at this stage what kind of evidence the German authorities possess. My aim was to try and find some answers, the kind of answers that may not be available to us in the physical, so with the use of a spirit box and some friends on the other side, I got to work. Stick around to the end guys, it's interesting. Who was guilty of abducting Maddie? Can you give me a name? Can you tell me who it was that took Maddie? Howard? Was it the German man that took Maddie from her room? Was there more than one person who abducted Maddie? Asian. Was there an Asian man connected with the Maddie disappearance? Was there somebody by the name of Howard who was connected with the abduction? Can you tell me how Maddie's abductor entered the holiday apartment? So did the abductor come in through a window? Did he come through the window? Are we looking for someone else other than Christian Bruckner? Do we have the wrong man here? Is there any other clues you can give us about Maddie McCann?
Okay, so Maddie McCann, she disappeared from a holiday apartment in 2007. Do you know who took her? Can you tell me who it was who took Maddie? Was there somebody called Howard involved in Maddie's abduction? Are you able to tell me what happened to Maddie McCann? I think you may have told me that Maddie is deceased. Is that correct? Was Maddie murdered soon after she was abducted? May. May. Maddie was abducted in May, so that's very significant. Is it possible that Maddie was spotted on the beach with her family? by some kind of paedophile? Was one of the people connected in this case a man by the name of Christian Bruckner? A source? So maybe he was part of it? If Maddie was murdered, is it possible that her body was disposed of in the ocean? Do you think that somebody had a key to Maddie McCann's holiday apartment? When Maddie was first taken from the apartment, do you know where they took her? City. They took her to a city. Do you know what city it was? It's quite far. Quite far? Is it right for me to think that Maddie is deceased? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so where did the abductors take Maddie's body? I heard Little Bank and I heard Pyramids. Is this some kind of ge uh, geographical location? Yes. Thank you. The location, maybe you said Pyramids. Is this in Portugal?
Gibson. Maddie McCann's parents, were they innocent? Family. Family? Are you referring to Maddie's family? I, I was just wondering, are they innocent? In her disappearance? Who should the police be looking for in a Maddie McCann case? Can you tell me, was there an Asian person involved in Maddie's abduction? The responses you heard are the result of three sessions. The sessions were recorded over three days. I took this approach with the investigation because it allowed me to follow up on and try to validate some of the responses I received. For example, on the first night, the spirits tell us very clearly that the perpetrators are Asian. On the third night, they gave us the exact same response. In my opinion, it's quite rare to receive the same response twice. When I look at the session as a whole, I think the spirits have painted a fairly credible picture. And if the information received is true, it could potentially narrow down the search. The door key is a big one. If the perpetrators did in fact enter the apartment with a key, it would at least to me, insinuate an inside job. If we can find that insider, they may hold all of the answers. I'd love to know what you guys think about the Maddie case and what kind of theories you have and do these spirit responses back up your theory? Feel free to drop a few lines in the comments and as always, thanks for watching.